my name is Wesley, and I am a pipe organist by trade, and I have a mustache today, so I apologize for that. We'll just pretend that it's the 1980s, and probably it will be gone soon. I've been making TikToks about organ and organ nerd kind of things, and I was really surprised a lot of people thought it was cool, and I think it's cool, but I always kind of felt like I was the only person in the world doing it and playing organ. And then all these nice people wrote and said like, they enjoyed it and they wanted me to do longer form videos. So I thought I would start a YouTube channel just to be able to play slightly longer videos and explain some of the stuff that I love so much. So I guess the first video I wanted to make was about how I got into the organ and how I actually learned about organ. When I was a little tiny kid, I played piano. My grandmother gave me piano lessons and I didn't even know what a pipe organ was. And then my mom found in the newspaper this thing called the Petals, Pipes, and Pizza from the American Guild of Organists. And I was like, I like pizza and I like music. Basically, as soon as I saw the organ and as soon as I started to play it and I saw that it had so many different sounds and all these different keyboards and all this stuff, I fell in love and I knew from that moment I was always gonna play organ as my main thing. I went to Oberlin Conservatory and Yale School of Music and I studied organ and harpsichord and German and uh, a bunch of really weird kind of esoteric pursuits like continuo playing and uh, yeah, music theory and counterpoint and all these kinds of things. But I was always playing organ and that was my main thing. I play in churches, I play a lot of sacred music, but I also play concerts and I, um, I really, really love what I do. Organ is so cool because, you know, it's one of the oldest instruments you ever run into, but they were always advancing it and developing it technically. And so organs go from, you know, the 1300s, we still have organs that exist in the world today from the late 1300s, 1400s, 1500s, that are incredibly complicated for their day, but still totally mechanical, to organs like the one that I'm playing here, which is full of electronics and a MIDI system and all kinds of things. But the core of this organ is still metal and wood and tin pipes and all these old systems, and real blowers and bellows. So it's always been a mixture of human technology and development. I think organ is so different. Each one you go to is completely different and they're kind of like snowflakes in that way. No two are alike. The downside is you can't take the instrument with you. The good part about it is that you don't have to. And you get to experiment every new place you go. You never get bored. And you always have to figure out how to make music from hundreds of years ago work on an organ that was built 20 years ago. Or how to make music that was just written work on an instrument that was built 500 years ago. That keeps it really, really interesting. And so um, I'm gonna keep posting some videos on here. Uh, and if you wanna learn more about specific stuff, comment, write to me, and um, yeah, if you found this not through TikTok, then check out the TikTok where the videos are silly and fun and short. And I'm at West Piper on TikTok. Thanks for checking it all out and subscribe.